Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Web Tools video. Today, I'm going to show you how to change the color of clothing on a photo. This is going to be really simple since we have a single color here that we're going to change. We're going to adjust this guy's tie. So to give you an idea of the effect we're going to show, I'll show you what I've done before using this layer here. So I've changed his tie color to purple, and it's pretty easy to do. You can do it in relatively, uh, basically two steps, and that is selecting the tie and then changing the color. It's really easy to do. So I'll show you how to do this. Um, if I zoom in here on his tie, we'll go through the selection process, which is the first part of this. So I'm gonna come right over here to my magic wand tool, click on that, and you wanna pay attention to the tolerance up here. Essentially, the tolerance tells you how much of a, uh, or, or how much leeway do you wanna give this wand tool? Because when I come in here and I select something with my magic wand tool, it's going to select um, the pixel that I clicked on as well as pixels surrounding it that are similar in color. So um, my tolerance level, if I set it really high, like if I set this to 20 and I select the same area or around the same area, notice it selects much more because my tolerance was higher. So I'm gonna start out with the wand tool, but as I do some of my selections right up in here um, by this guy's beard, because I don't wanna color his beard at the same time as coloring the tie, I'm gonna have to adjust that tolerance. So I'll go ahead and zoom in here. And while I'm doing this, I wanna to add to my selection. So I'll hold the shift key. You can see that little plus icon by my magic wand. That means I'm adding to my selection. So um, as I go through, I'm gonna be using that shift key and I'm gonna be using the control key to be able to subtract things out of my selection if I select maybe too much or if the wand selects more than I want. So I, I know I'm gonna adjust, need to adjust my tolerance here. So I'm gonna come up here and adjust it to just five. I'll hold the shift key and I'll select right in here by his tie right in here in this color up here. So I wanna make sure I'm, I'm getting, you know, everything up here in his, up, in, up by his beard without actually selecting his beard. And I'm just holding that shift key. And the some of these that it's selecting, it's gotten some stuff up here in his beard, but it's not a big deal because when we change the color, because that's so dark, we're not gonna see a big difference. I'm just, I'm just making sure up on this knot of on the knot of his tie up here, I have to get um, I have to use a pretty low tolerance. So I'm going to be clicking a lot. Um, I'll show you a few strategies you can use, though, once once you have most of it selected. So that looks pretty good for the knot. There's a few things I want to take out. So what I'll do is I'll come right over here to my lasso tool. I'll select that and um, I'm just going to use the freehand lasso. I'll hold control and um, that's going to remove things from my selection. So I want to remove this little part right here that isn't actually part of the tie. So if I hold control and I just draw a little loop around that part right there, It'll take that out. So perfect. And then to select, because there's a lot of things in my selection here, like, like these little bits and pieces that aren't selected. And I need to make sure those are selected if I want my tie to look authentic when I change the color. So I'm going to come up, I'm going to have my lasso tool selected, which I already have. I'm going to hold shift, get that little plus sign. And then we just draw a line around the inside here to collect all of those little tiny specks that were missed by the wand tool. So, um, it's a pretty easy, uh, pretty easy way to add to your selection. And it helps you get everything selected. I'm going to kind of ride this edge here a little bit. For, for this example, because we, uh, because we're using this tie that's got such a straight edge, we may not have even wanted to or we may not have even needed to use the magic wand tool in this instance. We could have probably just used the lasso tool and drawn around the tie ourselves. But um, it, I wanted to show you how to use this lasso tool, uh, or excuse me, the, the wand tool in conjunction with the lasso tool because it makes a big difference when you're selecting things. So I grabbed some of the shadow there. I think this knot looks pretty good as far as everything I have selected. Now I need to make sure I have everything on the tie selected down here below. So um, I'm gonna zoom out. And for this part, I can probably use my, my wand tool just because of the stark contrast between the white shirt and the tie. So I can grab this wand tool, change my tolerance, probably up to 15, hold the shift key and just click. Oop, that was too high. You can see it selected stuff clear over here in the jacket. So obviously that my, my tolerance is set too high. I need to adjust it to maybe, we'll just go 10 and see where that takes us. Perfect. 
Okay, so I'm getting mostly everything in there. We we probably don't want to grab that shadow, but oop, I grabbed a little bit of the belt. We'll take that out later. So it looks like we had pretty much everything that we want. I'll just grab the rest with the lasso tool real quick. So I'll hold shift again to make sure I'm grabbing that. And if you're wanting to get really close to the edge, you'll probably want to zoom in. In this case, I think my magic wand tool did a pretty good job, so I don't need to worry about it too much. But uh, you can just lasso in these last little bits, make sure you have every little piece, because it'll look really strange if you have one little dot or a couple little pixels of red that didn't change when you wanted to change that color. And uh, you can do this. I mean, the selecting process is what's going to take the time. And the better your selection, the better this is going to look. So the more time you take on your selection, the better off you'll be. So I'm just making sure I have every little pixel selected here. And then I'll probably take that little bit out of the belt there that I don't want. And then I should be good to go. All right. So I hold control again to take this part out right here. All right. Cool. I like it. Whoops. Let's go back this way. So now if I zoom out all the way, you can see I have pretty much all the tie selected. I might have some of his beard up there, but we'll be okay because it's dark and we won't see a color change there. So now what I want to do is I'm going to create a new layer. Okay. So uh, I think I duplicated it. We want to duplicate this layer, this main layer. All right. So I have this layer selected now, my background copy. And then I want to come right up here to this adjustment right here. And then I'm going to go to hue and saturation. And what it's going to do is just change the hue or the saturation of only my selection. So the hue is what's going to impact that color. So as I change this, you can see I can change that to purple. I can come down here and change it to blue. Okay, there's a little bit of green in there. I can come off the opposite way, get another shade of green there. Okay, so you can see I can just change my hue to whatever color I want, really. And then I can hit OK. And I only did that on that one layer. So if I turn off that layer, you can see I have my original. But um, it looks pretty good, I'd say, if I deselect everything. Um, it, it didn't really impact his beard or anything. It looks fairly natural, and we were able to change the color of his tie there. Hi, thanks for watching another Web Tools video and supporting our channel. After the video, if you still have a question about something we talked about, be sure to leave a comment or hit us up on our channel. And of course, if you're interested in learning how you can use your browser to its full potential, don't forget to subscribe below.